ordot kol Israel, kodab bohondi bishmaya, peimero, amen. Yehei eshalam barab mitchemaya, pechayim aleinu ve'al kol Israel, peimero, amen. Ose shalom, dimromam, oyase. Israel, Peimero, Amen. Ose Shalom, Mimroma, who yas Shalom, Adeinu, Ve Al Kol Israel, Ve Imru, Imru, Amen. Yas Shalom, Yas Shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael Yase shalom, yase shalom Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael Yase shalom, yase shalom Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael Yase shalom, yase shalom Shalom aleinu Ve'al kol Yisrael. Ve'imero, Amen. We should have shakoach to our cantor for leading us so beautifully in Shacharit. Before we continue with the Torah service, it's my pleasure now to welcome up our Bar Mitzvah, Bryce, and his parents, Grant and Russell, who have a special presentation for us. Bryce, my beautiful son, today is an amazing day, a day filled with ceremony, celebration, and love. To think that just 13 years ago, Daddy and I were at Tarzana Hospital watching you being born and cutting the cord. The very next day, Dr. Medawar came in and said, he's perfect, you can take him home. <laughs> and at that very moment, the best chapter of our lives began. Now, 13 years later, we stand here before God, our family, and our community to celebrate your bar mitzvah. You've worked very hard preparing for today, and you've arrived at this moment because of who you are inside. We can all see that Shana Putnam, that handsome face, but we also see your gentle, kind nature, your big heart that includes rather than excludes, your commitment to, to Kun Alam, helping and healing the world, your wonderful sense of humor, and a loving spirit. You made today happen. And I'm bursting with pride. I love you. I want you to look. I want you to look at everybody here. I want you to see everybody sitting in the faces of everybody that you love and everybody that loves you. I want you to feel the support of your family, of your friends and your community, and know that you are totally and completely loved. Today, you are a bar mitzvah. Today, you are a bar mitzvah. By accepting your bar mitzvah, you accept the mantle of adulthood and responsibility. Not only responsibility for yourself, but responsibility for your family and for your people. Um, we, the nation of Israel, are a unique people. We're all mutually responsible for each other. We are a people that are 200 generations old. It's taken 200 generations of cumulative effort to bring you to the place that you are standing on the bimah today. And today, you assume the responsibility to represent 5,000 years of Jewish history. 
and to preserve the identity and traditions of our people. So that 5,000 years from now, when your descendants, all 200 future generations of your descendants, will look back and proclaim in the same way as we do today, the door by door from generation to generation. Since the day you were born, we've spoken to you about your ancestors. Our goal has not been for you to memorize names and events, but rather to understand the journey we've taken to arrive at the place we stand on the Pima at this very moment. Unlike many other parents, I'm not going to take this moment to laud your accomplishments. I seize this moment right now to present to you an obligation that only you can fulfill. Your great-grandfather, Sam Gochen, a man of extraordinary dignity and discipline principles, gives you the gift of maintaining your identity, understanding who you are, and always making family your priority. The talus that Papa and I are about to give you belonged to your great-grandfather, Sam Gochen. The talus clip belonged to your great-grandfather, Arthur Smollett. My grandfather, Sam, gave me this talus on my bonnet. My grandfather, Sam Gotham, gave me this talus on my bonnet. <laughs> and today, I give it to you. And I hope that every time you don his talus, you feel his presence and will remember him and honor that memory and that of all of our ancestors. Like all parents, we have wishes and dreams for you. Perhaps the most crucial is that you will follow your own dreams with support from us. Take your insight, your intuition, your compassion, your dazzling smile, and those baby blue eyes, and face the world knowing that you have the power to change what demands to be changed. Papa and I are confident that you possess the moral fiber to comprehend where your energy should flow, regardless of the tasks ahead. And there will be many, my son. You will not face them alone. While everybody here knows that you are our only child, you have a cadre of people that think that there is no limit to what you will see and accomplish, whether it be in New Jersey, South Africa, California, or Lithuania, there is a tightly woven safety net of infinite love and support at your side. Every single day, Papa and I are astounded by how very much you give to us, how much you have taught us about acceptance, tolerance, and patience. There are days when Papa and I look at one another and wonder how it is that you have emerged so completely and utterly generous and non-judgmental. The historian Paul Johnson wrote, no people have ever insisted more firmly than the Jews that history has a purpose and humanity a destiny. As we see it, your purpose is to live life fully, joyously, and lovingly. Your destiny, my son, is to always remember your heritage, your obligations and responsibilities, and never to be afraid or second guess that helping humanity is a divine task. In your short 13 years, in your short 13 years, you've already proven that you know what to do and you know how to do it. So continue the journey despite all the roadblocks and dead end signs, twists and turns, because you'll always find your destination when you know what must be done.
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kishale Demitzvotav Vetsivanu Lahi Tatev Vetsitzi. Amen. And Bryce, as you wrap yourself in this talit, which has so much power and history to your family, we want you to feel yourself wrapped and blessed of all the love and the joy in this room, of all the love and the joy from all of your ancestors past and from all the people in the world. And because we're all here to witness this moment and to celebrate with you, we're all going to join together in singing the Shechianu. Please join together with us. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shechianu Bekimar Behigiyanu Zman Hazer We're going to continue now with Seda Kriyatza Torah, with the Torah service, page 394 in the Sidurim in the prayer books, page 394. <laughs> Amem shaltecha bechol dor Adonai ben 